All right, you guys did. What did you guys vote on? The poll's gone. <laughs> I can't see the results of the poll. Can you guys tell me which one you you picked? I held a poll and then I could. <laughs> I trust you all to be very honest. I'm sure not one of you is lying to me. Isn't that right, chat? You all are telling the truth. I think it was a different one, actually. Ugh. All right, chat. Well, I'm not. I'm not re-voting, so we're just gonna do aquariums, okay? And you guys are just gonna have to get used to it, okay? Watch your own vod. The poll's not in the vod. The poll is exclusively in Twitch chat, and I can no can't view the history of it after it disappears because Twitch has designed their product so amazingly. Twitch chat is in the vod, but the poll isn't. These, I, 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 hi, Calippi, Calippi, Cal, Cal, Going to do shitty aquariums, okay? And I'm gonna sort by top of, I did the month, it's kind of, it's probably been a while, right? Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh, it's been a while. You can tell when the top post is some good stuff. All right, let's look at some bad aquariums, some negative aquariums, some disappointing, underwhelming aquariums. We won't use the word that they use because that gets you demonetized. My roommate's toddler fed my aquarium five to 10 tablespoons of cinnamon today. Oh, wow. Five hours and new substrate later. Okay, hey, look, a water change saves everything. The better survived, or this is proof that betters are invincible. Homie put 10 scoops of cinnamon in the tank. <laughs> and the betta just breathed that in like, mmm, it's spicy. <laughs> Honestly, the tank's kind of not my favorite anyways, but the cinnamon challenge. <laughs> betta was forcibly did the cinnamon challenge. At the preschool, I volunteer in. My name's... Shelly. I am an aquatic turtle. Look with your eyes, not with your hands. That Shelly is just in a low water 10 gallon tank with like a little a little thing and a light. God, having the foresight as a teacher to like set up the cute little this isn't Comic Sans, is it? <laughs> the stupid font turtle thing. Add the images and everything, but then not having like the slight knowledge of biology to realize how just horrible this looks. Shelly has depression. Who wouldn't have depression, bro? Look at this thing. This tank is awful. This is just a prison cell. Orca stuff. Yay, orcas. Thought this was a winner. Tattooed goldfish. What? How does that work? How did you... What? They're not goldfishes. They're parrot cichlids. And yes, real tattoos. Like with, surely with like a waterproof marker, right? With a Sharpie. How how else would you do this? It's inside the scales. Yeah, a tattoo wouldn't hold on a fish, right? Reminds me of a story. When I was getting my first tattoo in high school, when I was 18, I got a fish tattoo on my back. And I told my friend that I was getting a fish tattoo and her first assumption was that I was bringing my fish to the tattoo parlor to have it tattooed. And at the time, I thought that was just, that was just really mind boggling that that would be someone's assumption. But apparently there's precedent. Apparently, maybe she wasn't so crazy after all. The Instagram story of a person I follow. OK, hold on a second. Are these fucking ocelots or cervixes? Huh? Sir, sir? Sir, not cervix, serval. That's the word. <laughs> yeah, serval. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> I should. I was close. Okay. Okay. Hold on a second. There's a. <laughs> there's a small. <laughs> there's a small cat called the lynx. And there's a small cat called a serval. So what do you call it when a serval and a lynx hybridize? Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's never encountered a cervix. Oh, God. Okay, anyway. <laughs> my point to be made was these are like expensive exotic pets. 
So you could definitely afford an upgrade on the tank. Also, what is going on here? This is like a floor couch. This is a flouch, since we're combining words today, I guess. Let's call it a flouch. And then you got grandma's ashes right next to it. But yet still, homie has two servals in his living room with a ground couch. And this is like the oldest shitty tile, like the default tile you get at Home Depot. Joe Exotic's house. This is literally the Tiger King house. I don't think he would have effed with these cats, though. They're too small for Joe Exotic. Get lost in this depressing hole of, go of glowfish. I'm good. Glowfish suck. Maybe consider why the fish keep dying instead of continually replacing them. Another day. Another sneaky replacement. Two out of four of us can't handle the stress of this classroom this week. Homie's just putting... Okay. You just have to keep reloading the tank in your classroom with fish. Bear with me for a second, okay? Even if you know absolutely nothing about animals, right? The logical thought is fish survive in the wild. And they survive in the wild more than a few days, right? In, in order to reproduce and such. Like, the, everyone knows that fish survive more than a few days. So if a fish is not living a few days, clearly, like, something's wrong? Like, I don't know. Overwatch Reaper, instead of reload the guns, just throw them away and get new guns. <laughs> this is the problem with Zoomer mentality. They don't know about fixing things no more. All them Zoomers that don't work, they just replace it. Me and my wife, Betsy, we've cheated on each other 87 times, and you know what we did? We fixed it. I hate a guts, but we're still together. Why in the world do you use a living fish to demo you? Oh, we've seen this one. The person put a fish inside their nail. <laughs> 87 times going strong. Yeah, that's crazy. I think this one is not, maybe not this exact model, but this vibe has popped up in a, in a previous, uh, previous one of these videos. Dear God, that is a pretty tank. I had this tank for about a month. There are two giant females, 12 females, and one my male giant in there. That's a lot of bettas in a, in a very small space, but it's a cute tank. I like the idea. Maybe just slightly overstocked. Slightly. Surely there's a better way to unpack the shipment. Oh my god, is there a betta in every single one of those little triangular bags? How are these animals so invincible? This is crazy. This is just a pile of thousands of betta fish. How, man? How? How are they, like, how are they alive? No, it's not Tide Pods. Betta Dorito. You guys are hungry. All right, you, everyone who said something like that needs to go get food and come back to the stream. All right, you're derailing the stream. Go eat. I had to take a double take. Why? Oh, classic Walmart. Do you guys remember? I don't know if many of them still have it. Walmart used to have, like, an aquarium section where they would have fish. And they were in, like, these... I don't know. They must have been not larger than this. Not larger than this. Like, little tanks for every fish. It's ridiculous. They they started... They started... Or at least they got rid of them around me. Probably... I don't know. Four or five years ago? So I don't know if they actually are still around. Maybe they're not around anymore. You saw a TikTok the other day about it? The aquariums at my Walmart have like 50 fish in one small ass tank in the back near the dog food. Oh, so your Walmart still have it. I, w I figured it was one of those things where they would like, yeah, get rid of it. You haven't seen a Walmart fish section since like 2012? Yeah, it's been a long time for me too. So I was kind of assuming that they were mostly gone. All right, chat. Bye, YouTube.